What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite for a full breakdown of the classified Battle Pass sector challenges as a part of Season 3 Reloaded. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and we are going to be going through how to unlock the BAL 27 Assault Rifle from Advanced Warfare that has been added as of today. It's the only new ranged weapon they've added in, which is really exciting. As you can see, September tweeted out a nice clip of the weapon. You can also follow me on Twitter. I got plenty of tweets over on Detonated's page as well. And Lots of articles being updated as we speak for the launch of Season 3 Reloaded. I made a separate video earlier this morning about the patch notes. That's linked in this article as well. And there's plenty of other coverage coming later today, including a lot for the Week 5 challenges and even for zombies. Now, first off, when it comes to the bundle shop update, apparently the Devin Booker pack did get delayed till May 3rd. I'll pin a comment down below if more information does get found about that. But here's a new pack that came out as of today for 1,400 COD points. You get a blueprint for the Gladiator, which is pretty cool. They've also gone ahead and added a blueprint for the SOA Subverter, a solid weapon choice. Got an animated calling card in here, a large decal, weapon charm, and even an animated emblem. So not too bad whatsoever. There's also a free gift pack that I need to find real quick. Here it is. And it comes with a large decal and even a weapon sticker. I believe these are tied to Golden Week. That's actually an event going on right now in Warzone Mobile, not the mainline series. But yeah, still got some cosmetics themed all around that. We also got an update to the event tab here at Modern Warfare 3. So six days left for the Vortex Virus Mainframe Challenge Experience. I've already finished it, but now they've updated the UI a little bit to actually show you uh, what the mastery reward is, which is the binary morality camo. The entire UI just got a refresh and a fresh coat of paint, which is awesome though. Loving how all this looks. Very, very cool looking. Uh, the preview is still not showing you the fact that it's an animated camo, but very cool that it shows you the start to finish, all the XP milestones you have to go ahead and finish. But with that, a new event will start a week from today. That's the UAV event as a part of the COD Endowment. We'll talk more about that as more information does get figured out. But as you guys can see, when you go to Assault Rifles, once you've unlocked the Battle 27, it is located right here. Very, very cool. There obviously is no conversion kit for it yet. Maybe there will be one day. No blueprints for the Bell as of right now. But if you guys out there don't want to do your classified Battle Pass sector challenges, then you can go ahead and exfil with it in Zombies or eventually buy a bundle with it that will feature a blueprint, but here are the camos on the bell, as you will see. Got gold there. You got platinum, or forge, excuse me. We also have priceless. And then lastly, we have interstellar. I'm actually really close to getting interstellar, a few weapons away. And then we'll have that taken care of. But the exclusive camos for the bell do include uh, sunset waves. Get 50 operator kills with the bell. We then have simpler times. 50 operator kills while aiming down sights with the bell as well. 15 operator headshot kills with the bell. And lastly, 25 operator kills while in tech stance using this new AR. And then, you know, the challenges for these are typically around the same for uh, a specific weapon class. Uh, kills with full attachments, 50. And then 25 full auto clean kills with the bell. So clean kills just means not being shot at. You took no damage, then you get the kill. And then two kills within 10 seconds of each other, 15 times while using this weapon. So very cool to see the brand new... Battle 27 update from Advanced Warfare. They've also added Weapon Prestige. I'll talk more about this in a separate video, but essentially, once you've maxed out a weapon, and this is just a new update with Reloaded, and hopefully it will be a staple for the COD franchise going forward. Once you've maxed out a weapon, you can then unlock this extra challenge just to get 150,000 total weapon XP, and you'll unlock this exclusive camo called One Trick. It is animated, looks fantastic. It's a per weapon unlock. For this new camo they'll end up adding in more camos for future seasons they confirm season six right here as you'll see but as confirmed by sledgehammer in order to get the next camo for season four you have to get one trick for the weapon you try to unlock the new camo for so hopefully that's really clear i'll make a separate video about this camo in the next couple of days but as far as the classified sector does go for season three reloaded as you will see i've actually already done two of the challenges because i had to go ahead and hop in the act four mission first for zombies but as you can see get five operator headshot or special zombie critical kills with assault rifles you get a brand new finisher called the kimbo assault i'm actually going to preview this when we hop into a private match in a second we also have the animated calling card pierced gaze Get 10 Operator or Special Zombie kills while moving with Assault Rifles. And then we have the new emblem, Pierce Gaze. Uh, actually, 
this they forgot to change the name for this get 10 operator or special zombie hip fire kills with assault rifles followed by a one hour double xp token if you go ahead and get 10 operator or special zombie tax dance kills while using ars so yeah hip fire kills and then tax dance ones got to finish those and once you've done all four of these challenges and get all the rewards you'll unlock the hvt the fifth challenge for the classified sector this season you have to get 15 operator or special zombie kills while aiming down sites with ars and you'll unlock the bow 27 pretty easy challenges across the board in order to get the advanced warfare ar shouldn't take you very long i obviously did these by accident while playing zombies but if you want to play mp you can go ahead and do that and unlock the brand new weapon but folks we are on the brand new multiplayer map checkpoint which is actually the stronghold poi from rebirth island look at this beautiful inspect for the battle 27 you can see how much ammo wow is in the actual weapon very futuristic man i just wanted advanced warfare 2 more and more every single day but this thing is awesome, dude. Ironside is just about the same from 2014. Look at this reload. Wow. Oh, man. This thing is incredible. I'm going to be grinding camels on this thing all week. Very, very smooth handling. This is probably going to be the meta. I mean, typically a new weapon is the meta for a little while. But this thing is a fast fire rate. Really good mobility. Loving the reload on it. Don't really have any attachments on it either. I just want to test it out. In its bare bone state. This is a good POI for a multiplayer map. You know, bravo to Sledgehammer for bringing all this out. But yeah, definitely make sure you guys go ahead and use this thing today in the new multiplayer update. Or if you want to hop into Warzone. I mean, I can't wait to pack a bunch of zombies at some point too. Check out how we like it. But this thing definitely feels great. Good map size to test things on as well. I guess that bot's cracked out with a shotgun. But yeah, even the camels looked pretty cool. As we previewed in the menu just a few seconds ago. Let me know in the comments. What other advanced warfare weapons should they add into this game? If any at all. Wouldn't even mind seeing like advanced warfare maps being added in. And maybe them adding a twist to them. So they can work for boots on the ground type of experiences. This thing feels great. But honestly, the EM1. That was rumored a little while back for this game. Didn't end up happening. But wouldn't mind if they added that as like an aftermarket part. For uh, one of the weapons in the game. But yeah, so far we got the FJX Horus. Was like the MP9 from AW. We also got the more sniper, which is incredible. And now we have the bell. Very, very happy with uh, the advanced warfare callbacks they've added here into season three. All right, this is the new finisher. The Akimo Assault from the classified battle pass sector. Very, very nice looking. Managed to get that done on a bot real quickly. Gotta get behind these guys. There we go. While using Godzilla. <laughs> very cool and free as of today. But ladies and gentlemen, for those wondering what's going on with potential future blueprints for the Battle 27, I will say on a Season 3 creator call a couple of weeks ago, devs did tease that they may look into bringing back some of the blueprints we saw in Advanced Warfare 2014. We obviously had the Obsidian Steed and even the Inferno. We'll love to see those return at some point, maybe as free blueprints for like an Advanced Warfare themed in-game challenge event. Although that's unlikely, they'll probably end up doing bundles for these actual blueprints. But as a reminder, you have several ways you can go ahead and unlock the brand new bell. Obviously, do the classified challenges, x Volted and Zombies, eventually buy a bundle for it. And I believe you can even use some of your Arsenal coins in Warzone Mobile to instantly unlock this, if that works. Can't confirm that as of now, but if you have Warzone Mobile open on your end, let me know if that works down below in the comments. Last thing I'll mention, once again is take advantage of all your maxed out weapons if you want to go ahead and unlock the one trick animated camel by earning 150,000 total xp on that weapon again it's on a per weapon basis but the camel looks fantastic that is about it it's been dk dynamite leave our thoughts down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on the brand new bell 27 inside of season three reloaded again the classified sector just opened as of today and if you guys go ahead and complete these challenges the first four you unlock the fifth one to then get the weapon if you miss out on the classified sector for reloaded then in season four i believe just this challenge will be added in to the base game and you can still unlock the bow for free you won't miss out if you guys just don't do the classified challenges as of season three but with that being said i really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody